Welcome into Steelers Talk. I'm your host, Jack Sperry, and today I'm going to be telling you guys why I believe the Pittsburgh Steelers are legit Super Bowl contenders and a top five team in the National Football League as we sit here today with a 6-2 and two record heading into the bye week. If you guys are excited about this football team this year, let me know right now by clicking that thumbs up icon if you love the Pittsburgh Steelers to kick off today's show. Okay, let's get into my five reasons why I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are really built to play in January and win playoff games this year. The first reason is because they got championship level coaching, all right? And I'm not just talking about the upgrade from going from Matt Canada last year to Arthur Smith this year. And, you know, I don't think Arthur is necessarily the best offensive play caller in football, but he's certainly not the worst. And that is a huge upgrade, and we've seen that uh, with the uptick in offensive production this year under Arthur Smith. But also, I think you can make an argument that head coach Mike Tomlin should be coach of the year in the National Football League. I mean, he went into an offseason this year with not a whole lot of great options at the quarterback position, right? He could have stuck with Kenny Pickett. He could have signed Mason Rudolph. Uh, he could have maybe tried to make a move for one of the quarterbacks in the draft, but you'd have to give up lots of draft capital to do that. Plus, rookie quarterbacks never win Super Bowls, especially right away on a team that's in a roster that's tr that's capable of winning now. But then also, like you, they could have got uh, went into free agency and got a veteran, and that's what they ended up doing. They ended up going to get Russell Wilson, and they traded for Justin Fields, and it seems like that decision has really panned out. Not only did Justin Fields lead this team to a 4-2 and two start as the backup quarterback when Russell Wilson went down with that calf injury, but he also made the ballsy decision to go to Russell Wilson after that 4-2 and two start, and good thing he did because this team is scoring 10 points more per game with Russell Wilson than Justin Fields at this point. And then maybe even more impressive, both of the characters of the guys at the quarterback position, Justin Fields and Russell Wilson, are kumbayaing right now and they're fighting for that number one quarterback job. It's just a testament to how Mike Tomlin can handle these personalities, can handle the locker room, and he has cultivated one of the most complete teams in the National Football League. It really is a master class in coaching what we're seeing from Coach T, and I'm so glad that he is here as the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So what say you guys? Let me know down there in the comments section. Is Mike Tomlin the coach of the year in the National Football League so far? Give me a yes or a no down there in the comments section to let me know what you guys have to say about Coach T. In just a second here, I'm going to be talking about our friends at Prize Picks. So for today's pinned comment, give me a yes or a no at the top of the comment section. With that, let's have a word from our sponsor here at Prize Picks, which is the best place to get real money sports action right on your phone. Join over 10 million users and sign up today. Prize Picks invented the Flex Play, which means you can still cash out if your lineup isn't perfect. You can double your money even if one of your picks doesn't hit. Prize Picks puts their members first, so with all withdrawals and also all their withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. When my picks hit, I can get my money in as quick as 15 minutes. Also, Prize Picks now offers Venmo for quick and easy deposits and withdrawals into your account this sports season. Sign up today and get $50 instantly when you play just 5 bucks. You don't even need to win to receive that $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize Picks also offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday, where each Tuesday, Prize Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value for your lineups. So you guys can take a look at my projection tonight for Thursday Night Football. We're going to take the more on C.J. Stroud passing yards, the more on Tank Dell receptions, and the more on Joe Mixon. I think the Texans are going to take care of the New York Jets tonight on TNF. Now, if you guys want to get on the action right now, you can download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS to get $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. That's $50 instantly when you use code CLNS after playing your first $5 lineup on the Prize Picks app today. Prize Picks, run your game. Another reason why I think the Steelers are built for January is because they now have a veteran Super Bowl winning quarterback with a ton of playoff experience and even some Super Bowl experience. And the reason why this is important is not only did you need to upgrade the quarterback position from Kenny Pickett, Mitch Trubisky, and Mason Rudolph from a year ago, but in order to win in the playoffs, you need a guy that's capable of playing high caliber football and also somebody usually that has playoff experience. First time playoff quarterbacks rarely have success in the postseason, all right? So even with a guy like Justin Fields, it just wouldn't have worked all that well. But you take a look at the jump in production this offense has had with Russell Wilson, that veteran presence in the huddle, all right? They got 31.5 points per game right now over the last two. That would be second 
in the National Football League. Same thing with yards per game at over 400 yards. Matt Canada didn't have a single 400-yard game, and over the last two games, the Steelers are averaging over 400 yards. Then on third down, they would be top 10 right now, converting 40.7% per, of their third down attempts. And then the big-time throw percentage and the turnover-worthy play percentage is really good right now, ranking in the top 15 in both and top 5 in turnover-worthy plays. But Jack, the Steelers haven't played anyone with Russell Wilson. How do we know that Russ is any good? Well, I mean, you can say that about the Jets and Giants offenses, in my opinion. I think we all agree that the Jets and Giants as overall football teams aren't that great. But their defenses are, without question, the best things about those respective football teams. And you take a look at these numbers. The Steelers are putting up over 30 points per game and over 400 yards of offense against these defenses. And, like, are they top 10 defenses? No, I wouldn't say that. But they're certainly far from terrible defenses. The Jets right now are giving up the second least yards per play in the National Football League right now. The Giants defense is one of the best situational defenses in the National Football League as their 7th and 3rd down percentage and 5th and red zone percentage. And then when you look at the results, they're 12th in points per game, the Jets, and 14th for the Giants. So I think that right now the, the Steelers team has gone up against legitimate NFL defenses and have absolutely killed them these past two weeks. And guys, Russell Wilson is only going to get better as the season goes on. And now the Steelers finally have a quarterback that can realistically lead this team to wins in the playoffs. All right, The moment's not going to be too big for him. He is somebody that is a perfect fit for this play-action heavy offense uh, led by the ground-and-pound run game. And then, of course, you got George Pickens to throw the ball uh, over the top two, and plus Calvin Austin III. Uh, I can't, I'd can't. i be remiss if I didn't mention him. He's getting open all the time as well. Another thing that's worth mentioning here is that there's only four quarterbacks in the National Football League that are currently active that have won a Super Bowl. Russell Wilson is one of those quarterbacks. Now, it was quite a while ago, but remember, Russell Wilson, at the time that he was winning that Super Bowl, wasn't the best quarterback in the league. He was very much a game manager type. He allowed the defense to do its thing. Marshawn Lynch in the run game, and it was a defensive culture, and they asked him to throw the ball down the field from time to time and make clutch plays in the fourth quarter. That is the exact same setup here in Pittsburgh, and I think you'd be remiss to say the Pittsburgh Steelers couldn't do what that Seattle team did did back there during the early 2010s. I think Russell Wilson could have a career renaissance here in Pittsburgh, and it already looks like he is doing that. Another thing why uh, I think the Steelers are built for January, we mentioned the ground and pound run game. And, you know, when we get to later in the season where, you know, it's outdoor stadiums like Akershire Stadium and in the AFC North and just a lot of teams in the AFC in general, it's a lot of snow on the ground. It's a lot of wind. It's a lot of cold conditions, all right? So usually the teams that can run the football effectively are the teams that can uh, very reliably win in the postseason. And over the last three weeks here, the Pittsburgh Steelers have over 160 rush yards per game. That would be second in the National Football League if that number was for the entire season. Okay, and then also over the last three weeks, they they have 4.89 yards per carry, which is also very, very efficient. And you look at the numbers, from, uh, from if you would look at the numbers from before this three-game stretch, it wasn't nearly what it was right now. And I think that the main engine here is Russell Wilson really doing a good job setting up the downfield passing game, which is kind of uh, laying off a lot of the heavy boxes that you were seeing with Justin Fields at quarterback, and that has allowed Najee Harris to really show his true colors as a potential star running back in this league, and he's looking like the first rounder that this team drafted him to be Finally, because he's not playing a bunch of heavy boxes. And then when those heavy boxes do come, you do have a quarterback now that can finally take advantage of throwing the ball down the field and making these defenses uh, honest here, which has really opened things up for Naj. And you see that here with over the last three games, he's averaging almost six yards per carry, has two scores, and over 100 yards per game. So Najee Harris is certainly somebody that can be the main engine of this ground-and-pound run game for the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. And if it can keep going, here, I think that the Steelers are absolutely built uh, to completely suffocate these opposing defenses 
uh, once we get close to the playoffs and then into the playoffs once we eventually get there. So before we get into some other uh, reasons why I think the Steelers are built for January and why they are a legitimate Super Bowl contender, we're going to be here all season breaking down everything that happens for the Pittsburgh Steelers here during this 2024 campaign. And we're going to give you guys that free content every single day uh, right here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe for daily Steelers videos on the black and gold, breaking news coverage. So the trade deadline is next week. If, some, if the Steelers trade for somebody, we're going to be going live with breaking news coverage. And it's all 100% free, guys. So join the over 60 65,000 people that have already clicked that subscribe button and join our family today. Now we shift over from the offense to the defense here, and a big reason why the Steelers could potentially win a Super Bowl this year, in my opinion, is because their defense is elite. All right, Not only is it very good in terms of the top-end talent with guys like T.J. Watt, Alex Highsmith, Cam Hayward, and the like, but also they've got some pretty darn good depth at all levels of the defense this year, at least in my opinion. You take a look at the team defensive stats to this point. They're very good situationally when it comes to the red zone. They're second right now uh, in terms of red zone defense, and then they have the third most takeaways in the league with 15 right now. And then it, it results in the second best scoring defense in the National Football League. Every single game the Steelers have won this year, those are the six wins. They have held their opponent to under uh, 20 points. And every time they've given up over 20 points, they've lost. But both of those games were with Justin Fields. And as we talked about, this offense is more than capable of scoring over 20 points when the defense eventually gives up those games. And you take a look here at the QB grades that the Steelers have given up this year in terms of the passing defense. They've never allowed a, pa they've never allowed a passing grade above a 70 to any of the quarterbacks that they have played this season. You're playing guys like Kirk Cousins, who's playing some pretty good football right now. You played guys like Justin Herbert, who's a, who is an all-world type of talent. You played a guy like Dak Prescott, a great processor, and you played a guy like Aaron Rodgers, who's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So I don't want to hear anybody say the Steelers haven't played any good quarterbacks, and they are holding these guys to extremely low grades to extremely low effectiveness this year. And then on the other phase there, the run defense, they're only allowing 4.0 yards per carry, which ranks fourth in the National Football League right now. And that's even after kind of uh, a weaker performance against the Giants when uh, Tyrone Tracy completely ran over this run defense, right? So I think that this run defense is certainly built to stop the run, and then they can also stop the pass. It's one of the more well-rounded, deep, and talented units in the National Football League. And it's going to be one of the main reasons why the Steelers are competitive once we get to January. Then the final reason why the Steelers are built for January is because they have the best special teams in the National Football League. There's no other way to put it right now. We have four straight games as we sit here today. All right, that is half of the games that the Steelers have played where they have made an impact play on special teams, whether that be a Calvin Austin the third um, punt return for a touchdown, whether that means a blocked punt, whether that means a blocked kick or a blocked extra point. This Steelers special teams unit led by Danny Smith is the best in football right now. They're, they play extremely disciplined. They have a very a great knack for making big plays in this phase of the game. And this is usually the forgotten phase uh, when people talk about the game of football. But as we've seen with the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, the special teams unit can absolutely change the course of an NFL football game. And the Steelers' ability to be able to have that impact play about once a game could be absolutely massive in this team's pursuit of a seventh Lombardi trophy. So fill in the blank for me down there in the comments section. I let you guys know my reasonings why I think the Steelers are a top five team in the National Football League right now. Now you give me your answer. The Steelers are a top blank team in the National Football League as it stands here today. Can't wait to see how you're feeling about the black and gold at this point. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really do appreciate all of your guys' support. we got videos like this every single day on the channel for free. So if you love the Pittsburgh Steelers, you want content like this more often, make sure you click that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, here we go, Steelers.